Good evening and welcome to the Block Ridge Arena on the campus of Colorado State. Actually, it's Colorado School of Mines. We are in the state of Colorado. That's right. It's the high school 4A girls basketball grade 8 championships. Hello, everybody. Mary Kay Morrow, pleased to bring you action from Block Ridge Arena in Golden, Colorado at Colorado School of Mines. And we've got two really tough teams, one coming from the North Centaurus out of the Northern League, defeated Broomfield twice this year, the first team to do so in the last five years, and won that Northern League. And then now they're meeting an undefeated team, Pueblo South out of the 4A South Central League, 25-0, and zero, the only undefeated team in either boys or girls 4 or 5A classifications. Today we're going to see uh, a battle here to see who goes to the Final Four in Boulder. You've got Pueblo South in the backcourt, Jessica, Herrera, Gordon, Patterson, and Garcia. Four Centaurs, Hubble, Ortega, Matoski, Langer, and Hauk, and Puckett. So we got through the tip. Pueblo South controls and will start first. First quarter action. Losing the ball, picked up by Centaurus, and that's Langer down the floor, blocked. Gets a, the ball back and now is fouled. So Taylor Langer will head to the line to shoot two. So foul's going to be on uh, Shannon Packard Patterson. We have the Patterson sisters out here. Shannon a sophomore, Megan a senior. First Free throw is up and good, so Centaurus on the board first with Langer's free throw. Langer uh, comes in today, very versatile player. Good score. Also good on the boards, we'll s misses the second one. 1-0 one -oh Centaurus, Pueblo South comes back the other way. Ball goes inside to Megan Patterson. Back out, the shot's on the way, missed by Jessic. Rebound, Pueblo South, second opportunity. Herrera with the ball. Round the horn, it goes to Gordon. Looking inside, finds an open Jessic. She'll run it through. Three ball on the way, off the front of the rim, Centaurus with the rebound. Tries to go over the top, it's blocked and picked back up by Jessic. Outside, shot on the way, no good by Herrera. Rebound again by the Colts, this time dribbled off the foot of Langer. And the Colts will retain possession. 25-0. and 0. Phenomenal record for Pueblo South. Three-time state champions. Last time coming in 1994. Head coach Shannon Lane, Lane was a part of that team. A graduate of Pueblo South High School as well as CSU Pueblo and into the lane for the bucket Shannon Peterson Megan's sister sophomore sister gives South the lead for the first time today to one coming down the floor Hubble Anna Hubble outside the shot comes from Matoski rebounds on the floor picked up by Gordon and, and it's saved into the hands of Centaurus shot no good by Hubble pace quick pace on both sides. Gordon down the floor. Rather, that's Shannon Patterson to Gordon. Head fake and then a shot taken by Herrera. No good. Three ball, one and out. Centaurus on the way back. Driving the lane and held is Hubble. That foul coming coming up by way of Megan Patterson. So Patterson picks up uh, her first. And they're gonna say that the foul came before the shot. So taking out of bounds under its own basket is Centaurus. Down by one, 2-1 early first quarter action. Grade eight, third game today. First two games, Broomfield falls. The five-time defending state champs lose to Air Academy 64-46. And then Pueblo West, who took second behind Pueblo South in league play, defeated Golden 53 to 47. Centaurus 
Still not able to get a field goal. Patterson with the ball. Dribbles baseline. Drives. Dishes. Gives the ball to her sister. And Megan Patterson finds the bottom of the net. 4-1 Pueblo, Pueblo South. Down the court. Great look. And a wide open layup. Marissa Ortega with the two-pointer. So first field goal with 540 in the four, first quarter. 4-3 lead by Pueblo South. Herrera with the ball at the top. Player to player defense finds a cutting. Micah, Michaela Gordon and Gordon with her first two points. Three different players now in the scoring column. 6-3 advantage for Pueblo South. We've got a violation by Centaurus and it'll turn the ball over back to Pueblo South. The Colts will take it out on the sideline. 6-3 is the score. First quarter action. Into the ball game is Kendra Jessix back in. Along with Megan Garcia. Now the ball goes to Megan Patterson. Back to Garcia. Inside it goes to Patterson. Tied up on the baseline and stolen. The, the ball by Midori Patterson of Centaurus. So we've got three Megans and three Pattersons on the floor <laughs> today. <laughs> The one Patterson, Megan, Midori Patterson is for Centaurus. And Megan and Shannon Patterson are for Pueblo South. Shot up and no good. Megan Patterson with the rebound. Three-point lead for the Colts. Jessic with the ball, throws up the shot and gets it to go from about 16 feet. A3 and Centaurus wants to talk about it. 8-3, Pueblo South leads it here in first quarter action. You're watching Chassa.tv. K-12 educators can meet licensing requirements and earn advanced degrees through Adam State Distance Learning. Hundreds of professional development courts are offered on-site and at a, at a distance. For more information, visit adams.edu. That's adams.edu, Adams State College. Well, with 4.21 to go, it's a five-point lead by the Pueblo South Colts. Mary Kay Morrow, pleased to bring you Girls High School State 4A action. Great eight. Winner today will head to the Final Four at University of Colorado Boulder's Events Center. Pass a little strong, a little too high for Centaurus' Marissa Ortega. Another turnover, three-quarters court pressure applied by Centaurus as Pueblo South brings the ball up the floor. Cross-court pass to Shannon Patterson. Down the floor, open to Ortega, back to Jessic, and Jessic from downtown nails it. Five points now for Jessic. First three-pointed of the ball game for either team. Matoski with the ball against Gordon. Down the right side to Hubble. Hubble inside. Double team on Patterson. Ball goes back out to the top. On the wing is Ortega being harassed by Garcia. And it is a steal attempt by Shannon Patterson as she read this pass and trying to not let Meg Shannon Patterson go down the floor was Midori Patterson of Centaurus so a foul is called her first personal, pers personal and team first for Centaurus 11-3 largest lead of the game thus far first quarter action three minutes left in the quarter Shannon Patterson great handles it's just a sophomore Gets the ball to her sister, who dribbles it down to the corner. Gives it to Megan Garcia. Garcia goes to the top. Right side to Shannon Patterson. Hit fake. Drives to the basket. Stripped of the ball. 
and is fouled on the play by Andy Houck. Andy Houck, a 5'11 senior, has had an outstanding season for this entire squad. That's had a, a, just a phenomenal season. Houck can play uh, with her back to the basket, but can also shoot the three. She has yet to touch the basketball offensively. Pueblo South with the ball. Garcia driving to the basket. Goes up with the shot. Is blocked and fouled by Andy Houck. Oh, they're going to call it a tie-up instead. So a tie-up instead. So a clean block. No foul by Andy Houck. Tie-up. And possession arrow will favor Santaris. Pressure D for Pueblo South. Drive by Midori Patterson. Fouled from behind, and it's coming by way of Gabby Herrera, the senior. So Gabby Herrera picks up foul number one, team foul number three. So Midori Patterson at the free throw line to shoot two. Centaurus cold here with just one field goal. Makes the first one. Has the opportunity for a second one. Very athletic. You can see she, she looks long. She plays long. Very quick to the basket. That's how she drew that foul. And a Hubble will come out. And into the ball game is uh, Shanley Anderson, 5'8 junior. Lots of juniors on this entire squad. Patterson, second one, is good as well. So two for two at the stripe but for Midori Patterson. Eleven four, Pueblo South leads it. And Garcia will bring the ball up. The senior brings it up for the Colts with 2.35 to go in the half, leading it by seven. Garcia. Dishes to Jessic, who's got five in the quarter. Outside it goes Herrera. Head fake. Pulls back. Now looking to get rid of the ball. Finds uh, Gordon. Gordon hands it back off to Herrera. Will drive to the basket. No good. Hauk on the board. Good defensive stop by Centaurus. Let's see if they can capitalize here on the possession. Lindy Puckett now into the game. Gets it to Hauk down low. First offensive touch for Hauk. You got to give Pueblo South credit for keeping it away from the senior for six minutes. And now Hauk is fouled and she will go to the line to shoot two. Hauk on the year, just a, a tough defender. Strong offensive player, very savvy basketball IQ. And very calm and cool out there. Just what uh, Centaurus needs as it is in its uh, first grade eight since back in the 90s. And how one of two from the stripe. Six-point advantage for Pueblo South, 11 to 5. Pass goes inside to Gordon. Can't control it. Told, taken away by Ortega. Fast break on the way. Stolen by Patterson. Great read by Shannon Patterson. Right-hand layup. Up and in. Ortega thought she got the ball while Patterson was dribbling. Referee says no. You got her wrist instead. Shot is good, and Patterson will head to the line for the and one. Shannon Patterson, mainly a two guard, but can run the point, makes the traditional three-point play. She was co-MVP in the league with Pueblo West's uh, Arietta. We had a chance to watch her play previous game against Golden. Outstanding two guard. And we've got a foul on the inbound. This one coming against the Pueblo South Colts. 14-5 advantage. And Megan Garcia picks up her first personal. Team foul number five. For Pueblo South, pressure D again 
by the Colts. Bringing it up the floor is Hubble. Hubble guarded by Herrera. Tight, tight player to player defense, and it pays off for the Colts as Gordon steps in front of the pass, steals the ball, and gets it to Garcia. Herrera on the wing. Dribbles, passes inside to Gordon. Gordon dishes outside. Patterson, Ortega is going to take that three ball off the rim. Herrera with the second chance opportunity. Goes back out. Shannon Patterson, no. Nice box out by Taylor Langer. She really kept her body on Herrera. And Herrera is ticketed with the foul. So Herrera picks up foul number two. Team foul number six. We're just in first quarter action, folks. 1.03 to go in the quarter. Pueblo South up by nine and six fouls already. Might be a long second quarter if the fouls continue for the Colts. Hubble with the ball, dribbling. Goes over the top. Ill-advised pass, trying to go over the lane. But a double dribble is called on Gordon after she steals the ball. So it'll remain on the south side of the court with uh, Centaurus. Centaurus sporting its uh, way uniforms, its road uniforms in the red, trimmed in white and blue letters and numbers. And here's a pass into the hands of Shannon Patterson. Patterson down the floor for the Colts. Gets the ball to Jessic. Back to Patterson. Looking for uh, Gordon underneath, but she's being covered solidly by Midori Patterson. Now Gordon, cross the lane. Shannon Patterson, shots up, rattles the rim, no good. Rebound Hubble, she's going to dribble through traffic. Two on one opportunity with Matoski. Gets the ball to her and back at her. No go as the ball is tapped out of bounds. A little late on the dish, allowing Pueblo South to get back into the lane to knock that one out of bounds. However, Centaurus will retain possession with 15.9 seconds to go in the quarter. And Matoski will take a seat into Ortega back into the game along with Lindy Puckett. Ortega running the point, trying to get that last shot. Has uh, Jessica on her. Screen at the, the top of the key. Puckett needs to get rid of it, gets it to Hauk. Hauk blocked on the shot great recovery by gordon as she was beat on the play and came back to block the shot no clean look for Hauken. we'll end the first quarter with pueblo south a nine point lead 14 to 5 the pueblo south colts over centaurus you're watching chassa.tv he wasn't looking for a roommate not even a four-legged one but good things have a way of turning up wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. Welcome back to Lockridge Arena at Colorado School of Mines. Mary Kay Morrow getting set for second quarter action in girls. Colorado High School 4A State Grade 8 Championship Basketball. Pueblo South 14, Centaurus 5 South inbounds the ball. Gordon with the basketball, hands it to Megan Patterson. She's going to drive the lane, big hop, and nice stop jumper off the glass for two. Megan Patterson now with her first two points of the game. And there's a layup attempt by Midori Patterson on the other side for Centaurus. Can't get it to go and the ball trails out of bounds. It'll be Pueblo South ball. So Puckett comes out and Shanley Anderson returns off the bench for Centaurus.
So just two field goals in the first quarter for Centaurus. Nice deflection that time by Hubble. Ball's loose. Gordon picks it up, throws it off the back of the rim. And a travel is called before that. She tried to get across the lane from left to right with one big step and could not do it. It's called for the travel. Pressure continues south on Centaurus. Loses the ball. Gordon on the steal. Two on three. Gets it to Shannon Patterson. Almost gets it to go on the left side. Great athletic move by the sophomore Shannon Patterson. As she will head to the line to shoot two. She is one for one today. She had a traditional three-point play off a layup. Foul and put the free throw in. She's got two this time. First one is good. Leads the team in assists with averaging five. Just a sophomore already getting some D1 looks. UCLA has shown interest in the sophomore as Patterson sinks them both. 16-5 now. Make that 18-5 right now. Pueblo South leading foul on the play. And, and Hauk will head to the free throw line. So Jessica is ticketed with the foul. That's uh, foul number seven, team foul, or number seven that is. One and one opportunity with Hauk at the line. She is yet to score. Makes the first. So of the six points, you've got actually just one field goal. One field goal, the rest are free throws. And Hauk sinks them both. The lone uh, field goal came from Marissa Ortega on a layup. 18-7, Pueblo South in the lead. Nice hand in the passing lane by Hubble. Ball on the floor, picked up by Herrera. Gets it to Patterson, and we've got some pushing and shoving going on, and a foul's going to be called on Centaurus. Referee asking Garcia, who's getting set to come in to kneel down. Herrera comes out. Garcia comes back in. Hauk picks up her first personal foul, team number five. Garcia will run the point. Jessica on the wing along with Gordon. Megan Patterson in the paint. Shannon Patterson now has moved to a wing position. Got a baseline runner with Jessica. Here's Megan Patterson. Ten-footer, got it. And Megan Patterson, who's signed with Central Florida to throw the shot put be as she is the two-time defending state champion in the shot put and number and ranked number sixth in the nation there's a shot by Centaurus back the other way and a foul is called on Pueblo South this is going to go on Gordon so Gordon picks up Foul number two, she and Gabby Herrera both with two fouls. Foul number eight on the team, sending Ortega to the line. So as we mentioned in the first quarter, there were six team fouls. Ortega makes the first. Six team fouls by Pueblo South. We thought if they continued, it would be a long second quarter. We're just two minutes into it. And already, Centaurus is at the line for the second time. Missed the second one is Ortega. 20 to 8. And Ortega again with the lone field goal for Centaurus. They are freezing. Just so cold from the field right now. Down by 12. 20 to 8. In a kind of a matchup zone. Ball gets to Shannon Patterson. Dishes to Gordon. Baseline jumper. No good. Rebound tapped around. Megan Gordon fighting underneath with Andy Howe. That's going to be a heck of a matchup all night long. And Megan Patterson 
just picked up her third personal foul. That is huge in the second quarter to lose their post player at the 538 marker. And that's what's keeping Centaurus in this ball game is being able to get to the line. They just need to start making a few more free throws. Halk was uh, one of two for, or actually two of two for her first two points of the game, getting set for a one and one situation. Misses the front end, gets the rebound though, goes back up off the glass, no. Ball's tapped around, Gordon comes down with it for Pueblo South. Shannon Patterson turns Matoski inside out, goes to Jessic. Cross court pass to Garcia. Nice ball movement by the Colts. Skip pass all the way from Gordon to Garcia. And it looked like it was a travel by Garcia. So turnover and Centaurus ball. 20 to eight with 5.15 to go. We've got a timeout on the floor. You're watching Chassa.tv. Our broadcast is presented in part by Bank of Colorado. Enjoy the difference. A family-run bank deeply rooted in Colorado can make in your life and community. We still believe in the personal banking relationships. Bank of Colorado, distinctively different and distinctively Colorado. The way banking should be. Bank of Colorado. Well, lots of foul trouble for Pueblo South. Despite the 12-point advantage, they need to be concerned Gabby Herrera has two, Michaela Gordon has two, and their post player, Megan Patterson, with three. Centaurs with the ball. Hubble. To Puckett, Puckett back to Hubble. Staying on the perimeter, gets Dortiga. Now goes into Halk, inside, out. Here's the long ranger by Puckett, off the front of the rim, Jessic with the board. Board and run, that's pretty familiar territory for the Pueblo South Colts. They like to keep it intense offensively and defensively. Jessic with the jumper, no good, rebound. How comes away with it? She's going to run the floor. Three on one. Ortega pulls back as Gordon cut her off and now the rest of the team catches up. They'll start out all over. Puck it to Hebel. 422 left in the quarter. Almost a pickup, and yes, a travel is called. Just that extra long step by Hubble causes the, the travel and forces the turnover, and it'll be Pueblo South ball. So Jessica comes out. Jessica, Jessica leaves with five points, all coming in the first quarter. And into the game is uh, Jamae Martin. More of a defensive stopper when she comes off the bench for this Pueblo South team. Just a junior. Gaining experience as a key role player in this undefeated Pueblo South squad. Martin with the ball to Patterson. Look at the ball movement. In the corner, three ball on the way. No good by Gordon, but put back up and in by Herrera. So Herrera with her first two points of the game. And a 14-point advantage for the Colts. Driving his Hubble off the glass too hard. Ball's on the floor. Picked up by Gord. She's got a three on zero. Stop. Jump set. Jump shot by Gordon. Rather Garcia. And Megan Garcia picks up her first two points. We've been saying that a lot. Getting a lot of people involved is Pueblo South. 24 to 8. Another timeout called by Centaurus as uh, Centaurus uh, having a tough time to coach Jeff Jackson in his third year, trying to get his team untracked offensively. You're watching Chassa.tv. Coverage of the state basketball tournament on Chassa.tv is presented by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. We can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with agents throughout the state. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Centaurus takes the ball out after the timeout. Hubble 
being heavily guarded by Garcia. Outside it goes to Puckett, to actually to Matowski. Here's the three ball by Ortega. No, but she'll get the long rebound, and Centaurus will get a second chance. Hubble almost lost it to Martin. Now gets it, gives it away to Ortega on the right elbow. Passes it. Shot, or that was Matoski to, to Ortega. Still balls alive. This time how too hard off the glass. Saved by Gordon and Hubble. Ends up with the ball for Centaurus. A little sloppy on both sides, but Centaurus comes out with the ball and has another opportunity to try to get its second field goal of the game. And that's not a misprint or a misspeak. Because <laughs> it's 24 to 8. Here's the long ball shot by Hauk. Way off the mark. No good. Rebounded by Pueblo South. And a foul is called. This one will be against Midori Patterson. So Patterson's going to get her second. Team foul number six, so Centaur still not in the bonus. We've got 2.28 to go in the half. Gord, Car Garcia will bring the ball up for Pueblo South, up by 16. Here is a ball goes outside to Shannon Patterson, back to Martin. Keeping it pretty spread. Great ball movement, though, and, and good discipline for the Colts. Garcia with the ball to Shannon Patterson. Patterson drives, dishes. Herrera head fake. Hands the ball to Gordon. Back to Shannon Patterson. Head fake, elbow. Shot no good. Rebound Hauk. She finds Ortega. Almost picked up by Gordon. One on two. She's going to take it to the glass. Got it. And Marissa Ortega is the only player to get any shots. Uh, in put in from the field. That's the second field goal for her and just the second for the team, 24-10, Pueblo South. Gordon's long ranger, no good. Rebound battling. Two red jerseys versus the lone little five foot four Jama Martin. And it goes off of Martin. So Centaurus catches a break, has a chance to dip into this deficit as it just got into double digits with that last layup by Ortega. Down by 14, 24-10. South leads it over Centaurus. Hubble brings the ball up. Ortega awaits her. Rather, that's Garcia. Now more of a, looks like a matchup zone being applied by Pueblo South. How throws it into the hands of Herrera. All alone down the court is Garcia. Layup good. Transition buckets, there have been a few for the Colts. Part of their game is definitely the defense jump starting the offense. Coach Shannon Lane yelling out instructions to her team. Almost a steal by Martin. And Hubble recovered, but not before she traveled. So another turnover that just constant harassment defensively keeping Centaurus off balance. So the Colts will inbound with 34 seconds, 38 seconds to go in the in the half. Garcia on the near side. Terrera, top of the key, shot off the back of the iron. Rebound, picked up by Puckett. Make that Anderson who hits the ground hard. And it'll be a tie-up ball position arrow for the Centaurus Warriors. 25 seconds left in the half. Centaurus getting down the floor quickly. That's Anderson, double teamed. Patterson, here's a shot by Puckett on the way. Got it. And Lindy Puckett off the bench. Hits a, a shot. There's a layup on the baseline. Nice athletic move by Jama Martin. 28-12, glass shot on the way, buzzer beater, got it. And it was a two-point basket by Anna Hubble and a flurry of shots to close out the half. Ten points scored all in the last two minutes. Nonetheless, Pueblo South 
is out on top by double digits. 28 to 14 over Santaris. This is girls high school state 4A basketball action live on Chasta.tv. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College, great stories begin here. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real... He wasn't looking for a roommate. Not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be.
Welcome back to halftime at Lockridge Arena, where we've got Pueblo South Colts on top of the Centaurus Warriors, 28 to 14. First quarter saw Pueblo South jump out to a 14-5 advantage, and Centaurus only hit one field goal. Well, the Warriors would have a drought from the field until deep into the second quarter, where they finally rattled off three more field goals to finish out the quarter and score nine points total, and South scored another 14, and that's where we stand, 28 to 14. Pueblo South leads it over Centaurus. Leading scorers for Pueblo South are uh, Megan Patterson, who's got three fouls and left the game at 538 of the second quarter. She's got six, followed by five apiece from Kendra Jessick and Shannon Patterson. Also four for Gordon and Megan Garcia, and then two apiece for Gabby Herrera and Jama Martin. For the other side of the coin, it's uh, Centaurus. Leading score is Marissa Ortega, the senior, had the first and only two field goals for Centaurus until late in the, in the second quarter. She's got five points, and then it's two apiece for Hubble, Hauk, Puckett, and Patterson, uh, Midori Patterson, that is, off the bench, one point for Taylor Langer. Now, the fact that uh, Andy Hauk, the 5'11 senior, has not uh, had too many touches has been a great... Uh, defensive coup for Pueblo South. Their up-tempo pressure, up-tempo play and pressure defense has really been the story here in the game thus far. South coming in undefeated, 25-0, and the only undefeated uh, team in girls or boys, four or five A ranks. And Coach uh, Shannon Lane in her fourth season has done an outstanding job. She was part of the last state championship. There's a great tradition at Pueblo South. Uh, who won the, the state championships in 92, 93, and 94 under Jim Harrison. And Coach uh, Lane played for Jim Harrison on that 94 squad. And here she is 18 years later, and she has brought uh, Pueblo South uh, back to the, to the grade eight and is hoping to uh, get to Boulder and see if they can bring that gold ball back to Pueblo South. All right, we'll step aside and get set for second half action. This is Colorado High School Activities Association Girls High School 4A State Playoffs from Lockridge Arena. You're watching Chassa.tv. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College. Great stories begin here. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. Second half action about ready to get underway here from the Lockridge Arena at the Colorado School of Mines. Mary Kay Morrow bringing you girls high school 4A state basketball action. This is the grade eight. We have two teams that have already advanced to the final four. Air Academy from the Colorado Springs Metro League, 64 to 46, over five-time defending state champion Broomfield and also Pueblo West, 
six point winners, 53 to 47 over Golden, already will be going to Boulder. Pueblo South starts first and already Centaurus trying to make a statement as they need to come back strong defensively. And Jordan Matoski gets her mitts on the ball and was able to intercept and come back the other way. Centaurus with its first possession. 28-14, Pueblo South. 14 point advantage. The keys thus far have been Pueblo South being able to apply a lot of defensive pressure and gaining a lot of uh, points off of transition and for Centaurus doing a decent job on the boards but really just not being able to shoot well at all from the field. We'll see how it changes here in the second uh, half. 2-3 defense, zone defense for Centaurus. Shannon Patterson with the ball. Pue Pueblo South has shown, has shown great patience this entire game thus far offensively when a good look is not there. You see Coach Lane barking instructions to Shannon Patterson, the sophomore, who's done a phenomenal job. As we said, co-MVP of that South Central League. Cross court, goes to Jessic, back to Gordon. Now Shannon Patterson outside to Garcia. Back into the game is Megan Patterson, who has three fouls. Layup attempt by Garcia. Good drive. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound to Tars. Nice bounce pass ahead to Howe. Can't control it as going after the ball's Matoski, who had the pass originally to Jessic, or rather to Howe. And it trails out of bounds. It goes off the south. It'll be Centaurus ball. Coach Jeff Jackson, as we said, in just his third year, played at Thomas Jefferson. Great uh, school in Denver Public uh, Schools and also great basketball school. Won two titles in 05 and 06. That's his teammate, Grant Landman, who's the head coach now, who was part of those two titles. Bringing Centaurus the first time since 1994. Uh, bringing it to the grade eight. And as a matter of fact, one thing we didn't note is that state championship in 94 that Pueblo South won was against Centaurus. That was when Gail Hook was the head coach at Centaurus and the Warriors had won the title in 90 and 91 and won it in 90, lost in 91 and then again in 94 to Pueblo South. So almost a, a long time payback in order for Centaurus. With the ball for the Warriors, Taylor Langer. Tortega directing traffic. Being guarded by Garcia, now picked up by Gordon on the switch. Hand in the passing lane, Megan Patterson. Great steal. To gets it away from Hal, gets it to her sister cross court. Fast break on the way, Ortega with the long ranger, no good. Short, as a matter of fact, and rebound. <laughs> on a f and a foul is going to be against uh, the Colts, and that's going to be against Matega, uh, Michaela Gordon, her third personal. Two Colts now in foul trouble. Megan Patterson and Michaela Gordon with three apiece. 28-14. Still, no score. We are 5-28 left in the quarter. Two and a half in. Here's a head fake and drive by Hubble. And that's going to go against Shannon Patterson. Foul number two on her. And in the quarter, second team foul as well. Hubble inbounds to Ortega. Looking for Hauk. Hauk. Again, just great hands by Megan Patterson. She's giving Hauk the inside. She's playing her on the outside shoulder, and her reach is just phenomenal. That's the second time she's knocked it away. Hubble will try it again. Cutting to get the ball is Langer. Instead, she opts to go way long, deep in the backcourt to Ortega. Shots on the way by Matoski. Short, picked up by Ortega on the long rebound. They'll try it again. Matowski driving, dishes to Langer. Langer on, in the near court to Ortega. Herrera jumps out on her. Herrera with two fouls. 
Back to Ortega. Picked up by Shannon Patterson. At the top, it goes to Hubble. Again, no score in the quarter. Oh, and a pick by Langer as Garcia runs into her. However, it looked like Langer jumped out and pushed her down. So we'll see it with the, which way the call goes. And the call goes against Garcia as she is flattened on the screen by Langer. So Garcia picks up her second personal foul. And as you can imagine, the South Colt uh, fans calling foul as they really thought that that was a, a flagrant or maybe not flagrant, but it was uh, initiated. The contact was initiated by Langer. Nonetheless, Centennial, uh, Centaurus rather, maintains possession. Long Ranger on the way by Puckett. No good. How going for the rebound is fouled from behind. That's going to be number four on Megan Patterson, who slowly walks over to the bench, looking at her coach and putting her palms up, saying, I don't know, Coach, what happened, but she's going to find a seat at the end of the bench as she will leave the game with 4.34 to go in the quarter with her fourth personal foul. And Hauk gets the pass and is fouled. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And now a second Colt has four fouls, and that's Michaela Gordon. So she will go out with 4.30 to go here in the third quarter. And the Colts have to watch. They lead it by 14, but they're leaving the door open by continuing to foul as, as much as, and we said, how cold Centaurus has been. There's a free throw made by Hauk. She has yet to make a field goal. There have only been made four field goals on the day for Centaurus. 28-15, Hauk getting set for her second free throw. On the way and good. First two points of the half for either team. And it's a 12 point advantage for Pueblo South. Ball goes into Megan Valdez. She loses it, rebound. South will get a second opportunity. Shot on the way by Jessica. Got it. Jess Jessica has been virtually perfect here today when she has an opportunity. She has made three field goals, one tray. She's got seven on the day, 30 to 16. The Colts lead it. Ball entry pass to Hauk. Knocked away by Shannon Patterson on the help defense. So Megan Valdez, a junior, is playing the post for Megan Patterson. Patterson out with four. Gordon out with four right now. Shan Shanley Anderson will take a seat for Centaurus. Back in the game is, Je is, is Taylor Langer. Here's a long ranger. Three ball away. Rattles the rim by Ortega. A third opportunity as Hauk fights for the ball. Gets it to Hubble and Hubble will try to drive to the basket, but time is called by the referee as how hit the deck hard. She might have even hit her head as the sports med trainer comes out to check her. And both teams will go to the bench, and it looked like she really hit. Look, she's holding her forehead. as the trainers are taking a look at her. 30 to 16, Pueblo South with a 14 point advantage. Both teams just two points in the quarter. We've got 3.36 to go in the third. And then slowly getting up is Andy Howe. And we're thankful to see that. Boy, we didn't want to see any medical attention to beyond the trainers for how she will head to the bench and get checked out once again and taking her place inside coming in will be number 15 Midori Patterson so they go with a much smaller lineup no true post is out there pretty much 
pretty much five guards. Here's a long ranger on the way. No good by Lindy Puckett. This time the Colts come out with the rebound. Three opportunities. Centaurus 0 for 3. Ortega with the ball. Outside to Jessic. Cross court to Herrera. Back to Jessic. Still that 2-3 defense by Centaurus. Shannon Patterson looking for a gap. Decides to pass deep in the corner. Herrera three ball on the way. No good. Rebound Jessic. Second opportunity. 14-point lead for Pueblo South. Looking for its 26th win on the season. Jessic, shot short. Valdez knocks it around, goes off the hands of Puckett. And no, they're going to say it's off of Valdez last. So Centaurus will regain possession with 2.53 to go in the third quarter. Five team fouls are ready for Pueblo South. Centaurus, zero team fouls. Fouls have been the Achilles heel this entire game for Pueblo South. However, they maintain their lead. And there's a three ball by Ortega. She's been the one who's been able to knock down points from the field. She now has eight. 30 to 19. Pueblo South leads it. Jessic, baseline, got it. But will the basket count? Yes, there's a foul underneath. I'd like to see Jessic's num uh, numbers overall. I've got her for four field goals, one three-pointer. And she's got to be like around four for six, maybe four for seven. She's been very accurate here today. So the, the basket counts. A foul occurred after the bucket. And the foul uh, went against Taylor Langer. First uh, personal for her and first team foul. Here's Ortega driving to the basket. Penetration, she is fouled on the way to the hoop. So here's foul number three. The first person to reach the three fouls for Centaurus, and that's Melissa Ortega, who's been the point so far for the Warriors. Ortega, or rather Garcia at the line for Pueblo South, makes the first. Getting set for a second one. And that's up and good as well. 34-19, 15-point advantage for the Pueblo South Colts. Hubble brings it up, calls the play. Five out. Now they split up. Ortega with the ball. Knocked it out by Ortega, or rather Garcia. Hubble driving. Throws, just forces a shot. As she runs into Valdez and then comes back down with the ball and throws it up. Definite travel called. And Hubble forced that shot all along. She really didn't have a clear lane to the basket. It maybe opened up briefly but was closed immediately by Valdez. Who uh, shut her down. And it'll be Colts ball. Full court pressure now by the Warriors. Under two minutes in the third quarter. Shannon Patterson. Reverses direction. Cross-court pass. There's Garcia. She's going to head to the middle. Drive and dish. Martin in the backcourt. Pretty much a three-guard look, and it moves Sh Shannon Patterson at the wing with Valdez at the post. We've got another foul. This one's going to be on Matoski. And number two on Jordan Matoski. Team foul number three. So the Colts will inbound on the near side. 138 to go. Pueblo South up by 15. 34 and 19. Garcia with the ball. Against Langer. Gets a pick from Herrera. Jessic against Anderson. Overplaying is Anderson, and another foul is going to be called. So a little too aggressive. And it's really hard because when you you know Pueblo South has good patience. And you don't want to foul. However, you, you got to try to get the ball back. So it's, it, it's trying to balance being aggressive and being over-aggressive and reaching. And Anderson picks up her first personal. So Anderson comes out. And Midori Patterson back in. 
Shannon Patterson with the ball for the Colts. Pass to Terrera, hit, fake, drive, stops in the middle, jumper, no good, gets her own board, off the glass, got it. Great second effort by Gabby Herrera, just her second field goal of the day, but she gets the foul and the and one opportunity. You know, Megan Garcia was hurt earlier in the season and Gabby Herrera stepped in at the two guard and has maintained her place in the starting lineup. And gets the basket. So three point play, 37-39. Pueblo South in the lead with a minute to go in the quarter. Ortega to Hubble, she's gonna reverse to Matoski. Forces it inside to Midori Patterson and loses the ball in a tie up. Possession arrow for the Colts. So 37, 19, 18 point advantage. Centaurus has scored just five points in the quarter, equaling its output for the first quarter. Pueblo South, on the other hand, has scored nine. Low scoring third quarter. Jessic gets the ball stripped by Matoski. Two on one. Has Ortega, and she's going to go the length of the floor. Lay it up and in. So Matoski, good bucket towards the end of the quarter here. Let's see if the Warriors can get a defensive stop. Garcia with the ball. Comes out to the top. Looking for P Patterson. On the wing. Down low to Jessic. How comes out on her. More of a player-to-player -player defense. Now diving for the ball is... Puckett, picked up by Shannon Patterson, hands it to Valdez. She's going to throw it errantly into the air. Picked up by Ortega and a foul with the loose ball again. And this might be number four. No, this will be against Garcia. So Garcia now with three personals. And Centaurus will have another chance. 2.7 to go in the quarter, 37-21. 16 point lead for Pueblo South. Ortega to Anderson. She's gonna have to heave it, but too late. She didn't get enough of a handle on the ball, so no last shot for Centaurus. That closes the third quarter. We'll step aside and come back for fourth quarter action where Pueblo South leads it, 37-21 to over Centaurus. You're watching Chassa.tv. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome back to Lockridge Arena. We're set for fourth quarter action. Mary Kay Morrow bringing you Colorado High School State 4A grade eight playoff action from Colorado School of Mines. Pueblo South leads at 37 to 21 over Santaris. Three ball on the way, no good by Puckett. Down the floor quickly is Pueblo South. Back the other way, Garcia. Layup no good, but Ortega from behind on the foul and Marissa Ortega is going to pick up her fourth personal. So that's number four. The lone uh, player in uh, trouble foul wise for Centaur. So Garcia will have two at the free throw line. First one is no good. 
She is two for three from the stripe today. And as we said, usually starts, but she got injured. And Gabby Herrera stepped in and has uh, kept that starting slot. But when Garcia's in, I, it, it, they don't skip a beat. And that's pretty much the entire team here for Pueblo South. Second one is good, so 38-21. Pueblo South with 17-point lead. Ball forced inside to Hauk. Stolen, bar guys, bar, stolen by Garcia, but her pocket was picked by Matoski and Centaurus will try to get long ranger. Downtown shot is good by Marissa Ortega. And that's her second tray of the evening. She's now got 11. Quick timeout by Pueblo South, 38 to 24. And they are doing this without the services of their two starters, Michaela Gordon and also Megan Patterson. So Gordon, who plays the four, and Patterson, who plays the five. Patterson has been out since the five, 434 marker of the third quarter. Gordon has been out since the 430 spot uh, of the third quarter. So they're doing it with substitutes and doing a good job. 38-24, Pueblo South leads it over Centaurus. In-depth coverage of every state tournament game in all classes can be found throughout uh, Colorado and the Colorado Preps Network. Get the quickest results and updated tournament brackets at coloradopreps.com. Join us for the Built Ford Tough Scoreboard Show where we recap all the action each Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, 9 to 10 on Colorado Preps Radio Network. Full court pressure by Centaurus as the Colts inbound. And they back off quickly. Kind of a 1-3-1 one, one look. A sagging uh, pressure defense for Centaurus. Herrera inside of Valdez. Backs up. It looks like she traveled. No call. Jessic round the horn. Patterson. Herrera's going to try it from the baseline. No good. Rebound Hubble. Hubble double teamed on the corner. And a jump ball. Wow, that was a quick whistle on the far side. And that possession arrow will... Give the ball back to Pueblo South in front of its own bench. Garcia with the ball in the backcourt. Megan Patterson getting set to get come back in after sitting out quite a while. Herrera switches with Shannon Patterson. Now Garcia finds a lane, forces a shot blocked by Hauk. Mikowski. Matowski the other way, bounce pass to an open Hubble. Jumper on the baseline, short. Shannon Patterson looks down court, has Garcia. Garcia one on one, and she is stripped of the ball by Taylor Langer. And will come back the other way. Hubble, listening to instructions from her coach. And Hauk has really been taken out of this game. Hauk on the day, just four points all coming from the stripe. Ball goes inside to Lager. Finds Hauk from outside. Hauk, 12-footer, no good. Rebound, Langer got it. Nice second opportunity and conversion there by Taylor Langer. And now a 12-point lead, four-point, or rather four-possession game with 5.58 to go in the ball game. Hand, ball goes right through the hands of Herrera and coach Shannon Lane wants a timeout for Pueblo South. 38-26. Her team struggling a little bit on the boards but still maintaining a 12 point advantage. K-12 educators can meet licensing requirements and earn advanced degrees through Adams State Distance Learning. Hundreds of professional development courses are offered on site and at a distance. For more information, visit adams.edu. That's adams.edu, Adams State College. 
5.56 to go to see who will move on and head to Boulder in the final four. Two teams are there already. Earlier today, Air Academy defeated Broomfield 64-46. Pueblo West, 53-47 winners over Golden. Jessic with the ball for Pueblo South. Back to Shannon Patterson being covered heavily by Matoski. Finally gets the ball away and it goes right into the hands of Langer, but another timeout by Shannon Lane. So Coach Lane is emphatic in her huddle right now, talking to her team, trying, they're, they're being harassed and they're succumbing to some of the pressure right now, being applied by Centaurus. 38 to 26. Pueblo South leads it. Pueblo South, as we said, comes out of that tough 4A South Central Metro League. It's a 17-team league. They play each other home and away. They've uh, beaten the likes of 5A Doherty and Palmer in the Palmer Tournament. They uh, knocked off not only Doherty and Palmer, but also Mesa Ridge and won that tournament. They beat Sand Creek 90. That's right, 9-0. 90 to 44. Sand Creek will be in our last game tonight against Devlin and uh, won the league outright. No, there's no district tournament. And they had to fill out their, their schedule with 11, 11 non-league games. So like what Air Academy does and a lot of the teams do, they, they uh, beef up the front end of their schedule against uh, tougher opponents. So when it comes uh, playoff time and March Madness hits, they're ready to go and that's exactly the prescription that's worked so far for Pueblo South this season. Jay Martin back in in the backcourt for the Colts, being guarded by Ortega, who has four personal fouls for Centaurus. Also on the floor with four fouls is Megan Patterson with the ball, and she is tied up by Ortega. And that, oh my, that looked like a tie-up, and instead a foul number five is going to be called on Marissa Ortega. An unfortunate occurrence right there for the senior, Marissa Ortega, a three-year varsity player, terrific leader, leader, solid career and season for Centennial, or Centaurus rather, and she leaves the game with five, uh, 531 left. Thirty-eight twenty-six. Colt still on top by twelve. Hubble with the ball, and she is trying to step around Shannon Patterson, and is called for a travel. She must have picked up her pivot foot right in front of the Centaurus bench. Shannon Patterson, who leads this team in assists, averaging about five a game, will inbound. She'll try to inbound, and a five-second call. Terrific defense that should jump start the Warriors as they will get the ball in the half court set coach Jeff Jackson right there next to Hubble social studies teacher at Centaurus great community support boy they brought a spirit bus of 45 students they have band the band teachers and great fans from the Lafayette and surrounding area here in support of Centaurus. It's first appearance in the grade eight since 94. Ball comes into Langer. She loses it out of bounds, or is that Matoski? Actually, it's Matoski. Jama Martin comes out. Garcia back in for the Colts as the ball trailed out of bounds off of a Colt, so retaining possession is the, uh, the Centaurus squad, and inbound is knocked away by Shannon Patterson. Great quick hands. You can just watch her court sense. Can seize the floor really well, whether it's offense or defense. She's on Hubble. With the balls, Matoski against Garcia. Falls to the ground, loses the ball, and that might be number four in Garcia. No, timeout called instead. So Coach Jeff Jackson calls a... 60 second timeout and is talking with his team about trying to get open and, and a lot of the the trouble is that Pueblo South is playing a very tight defense however 
you need to break free, get some picks, and try to try to get open and make some opportunities. They've struggled from the field, there's no question. Today with just 26 points. All right, 12 point advantage still for Pueblo South, 38-26. Our broadcast is presented in part by Bank of Colorado. Enjoy the difference a family-run bank deeply rooted in Colorado can make in your life and community. We still believe in the personal banking relationships. Bank of Colorado, distinctively different and distinctively Colorado, the way banking should be. And we'd like to thank all our sponsors uh, today bringing you coverage, live coverage of girls high school 4A state basketball here at uh, the Lockridge Arena at Colorado School of Mines. And that's Adam State College, Bank of Colorado, Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance, and Colorado Preps Network. Back to live action, inbounding will be Centaurus. Down by 12 with 4.45 to go. Pass inside, Hubble to Hauk. She is triple teamed and a foul is called. It won't go against Megan Patterson, who's got four, but instead it goes against Jessic, who picks up foul number two. Now both teams in the bonus, so Hauk at the line for a one and one. And as we mentioned, she has four points today, all four coming from the line. She's four for five from the stripe. The senior puts the first one up, can't get it to go. The front end of the one and one is no good. Been a drought for both teams. Stolen by Hauk, three on two, finds Hubble against Gordon, who's back in. She's got four, and that might be number five, and it is. Michaela Gordon running shoulder to shoulder with Hubble, and Anna Hubble did the right thing. She went right at her. She's moving. There's a good chance she's going to get called for the foul. She does, and she leaves the ball game with 4.25 to go. And into the game, Herrera returns. Herrera's got two. So Anna Hubble will shoot two. She's got two points on the day. First attempts from the free throw line. First one is no good. Good calming effect for Centaurus on the court. She's really growing into this uh, point guard position. Makes one of two. Just a junior. Here's the pressure. Double team in the backcourt by Centennial. And the ball is lost by Megan Patterson. Picked up by Midori Patterson for Centaurus. Outside to Hubble. Hubble passes inside and she is pushed. This one might go against Jessica. We'll see. And it is. So Jessica now number three. one-on-one -on -one situation. As Hubble at the line. You saw her great step, first step to the hole. She could not get that first one to go again. She's one for three now from the stride. Four minutes left. We are midway through the final quarter. Who goes home, who goes to Boulder? Right now, Pueblo South in the lead, 38 to 27, undefeated on the season. And is it an offensive foul or is Midori Patterson going to take the foul? And an offensive foul is called. So Midori Patterson takes the charge. Great defense again, and Shannon Patterson picks up number three. Team foul number 10, so the rest of the way out, the remaining 349, double bonus situation for Centaurus. Full court pressure, player to player, defense for Pueblo South. That's what they know, that's what they do best. Hubble, now get, get a little cushion by Patterson, who's got three fouls. Bounce pass inside to Matoski, double teamed. Can't get it away, and Megan Patterson, is it a foul or a tie up? It's going to be a foul. That's going to be. That's the fourth on Shannon, rather. Because, oh, it was on. Let's see. It's on Jessic. 
I thought it was on Megan Patterson. That was going to be number five. Instead, she lucks out. And number four now goes to Kendra Jessick, sending Matoski to the, the free throw line. If Centaurus had made even 60% of its free throws, we'd have a, a much tighter game right now. Another missed free throw. This one coming at the hands of Jordan Matoski. Second one on the way and good. And a bucket on the other side by, by Garcia quickly down the other way and that's what she does best and puts her team back up by 12, 40 to 28. First bucket since the six minute mark for the Colts. Hubble tied up by uh, boy a lot of whistles a lot of whistles here late in the game that looked like a tie up yet again that turned into a foul situation and this one's going to be number four on Shannon Patterson Megan's sister so the sister act have each has four so does Jessic Michaela Gordon already has fouled out and at the line is Hubble to shoot two. First one is good by Anna Hubble. She is two for four from the stripe. And second one on the way for Hubble. And the second one is short. Centaurus, three of eight from the stripe here down the stretch and a timeout on the floor by Centaurus. 40 to 29, a four possession ball game with three, a little over three minutes to go. You're watching Chassa.tv. Coverage of the state basketball tournament on Chasa.tv is presented by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. We can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with agents throughout the state. Colorado Farm Bureau, real insurance, real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. 3.08 to go in the ball game, 40 to 29. It's turned a little ugly with the fouls here down the stretch, but Centaurus could have made it a much tighter game thus far. They are three for eight in the last couple of minutes. There are three Pueblo South Colts with four fouls apiece. That's Jessica, Shannon Patterson, and Sister Megan. And Garcia with the ball. Herrera for the Colts. Inside it goes to Megan Patterson. Back out to Jessica. Jessica's been terrific from the field in shooting. Look at the overplaying defense by Centaurus. Now into the game is Danelle Donlinger, Dondelinger, number 12, fresh legs, 5'5", sophomore, trying to keep Garcia at bay. With the ball is Herrera. Hits Patterson, stops in the lane, jumper on the way, no, rebound. Megan Patterson, good. One of the few times Megan Patterson has been able to get a put back, put back basket in the first two points of, her, of the second half. She's got eight on the, on the night. 42-29, big bucket. Anderson with the ball on the floor and is a timeout going to be called yes by Coach Jeff Jackson. You can feel the sense of urgency from both squads. And this time around it was Centaurus having trouble hanging on to the ball. 42-29, a 13-point lead for Pueblo South. You look at South's so roster, just, just uh, two seniors, or three seniors on the squad. Megan Garcia, 
along with uh, Gabby Herrera and Megan Patterson. And Megan Patterson, as we said, ranked number sixth in the nation in track and field and shot put. She won the 4A state uh, championship last season. And she also, uh, she transferred from Dolores Huerta School in 3A, and she won the 3A the year prior in the shot put. So because of the transfer, she set out 11 games this year. And uh, she just has been phenomenal athlete. And to be, she not only got signed by Central Florida, but she had five official D1 visits, including uh, Auburn as one of them. All right, Centaurs inbounds. Gets it to Langer, being guarded by Megan Patterson. Stolen by Shannon Patterson. Another turnover for the Warriors. Jessica with the ball. Herrera at the top to Shannon Patterson. Coach Lane yelling at Patterson to go deep to just stretch the defense. Run the clock. You got a 13-point lead. Instead, she drives to the basket. She does get fouled, but it, more importantly for the Cole, or for Centaurus, it stops the clock. So Shannon Patterson will head to the free throw line. Very good student of the game. Her coach, uh, Shannon Lane, says that she just gets the fine details. You don't uh, see that very often in the high school ranks, and especially as a sophomore, as Patterson's front end of the one-on-one one is no good. She has not scored here in the second half. Had, five, had uh, five in the first. Hubble with the ball, double teamed. Back to Midori Patterson. She'll run the lane. Go up with the left hand, no good, but is fouled from behind by Herrera. So Herrera picks up her second personal. So Midori Patterson at the free throw line for the second time today. She's two for two from the stripe. First one on the way is good. Every single point so important for this Centaur squad. First points for uh, Pat and Midori Patterson since the first quarter. Second one on the way. It's no good. 42-31. As the ball comes down the floor, Garcia's shot blocked by Midori Patterson. Picked up by Matoski. And she gets it to Midori Patterson. Ahead to Hubble. In the paint to Hauk a little too long. And that just got a little over anxious. Hauk jumped and at the peak of her jump, the ball wasn't there yet when she came down with by that time it was overhead. Still a four possession game with 1.15 to go. Megan Patterson's going to run the floor. Look at her in the middle. Stops. Dishes to Herrera. Jumper no good. And that's probably not the shot that Coach Lane wanted to see her team take. Fast break on the way. And the shot coming by Puckett, no good. Rebound, Centaurus, and again, Midori Patterson, another long pass. That's two in a row. 42-30. Colts in the lead by 12 with just 57.2 left in the ball game. Defensive stops, and here's a foul by, by Hubble. Good decision. This is clock management now for Centaurus, trying to trade maybe uh, no, no makes or one, and then get the ball back and try to come down and maybe shoot a three. The only player to make three those to make threes, though, was Marissa Ortega, and she had fouled out at the 531 mark of this game, of the fourth quarter. First three throw, free throw by Jessica is good. She now is in double figures with 10 points. Averages four assists a game. She's been a great shooter tonight. She also averages just one turnover per game. The phenomenal assist to turnover ratio. Misses the second one. And the ball is stolen back by Pueblo South as Centaurus came back the other way and a foul is going to be called on Matos Matoski. So this might just do it and finish off Centaurus. They're unable to convert. They have not made 
but one field goal. Actually, I take that back. Two field goals in the fourth quarter. A three-pointer by Ortega, and then a two-point basket by Matoski. And that are those are the only field goals for Centars in the fourth quarter. So both of free throws are made by Jessic. And it's a 15-point lead. No three-point attempts yet by Centars as the clock winds down. Goes inside to, to Langer and off the leg of the Colts. It'll be Centaurus ball. 30 seconds left in the ball game. A 15-point advantage. Five-possession game. And unless it's a barrage by Centaurus, the Colts will claim their 26th victory on the season. The only undefeated team in girls and boys for a basketball. Long Ranger no good. Ball batted around and picked up by Herrera. Colts could run it out here. Jessic is going to throw it to Garcia. Don't need to make this basket, but she does anyway. Or doesn't need to make it, and she does. So Garcia ups that advantage to 17, and that's going to do it. 47-30, to 30, the Pueblo South Colts, 26-0, move to... Boulder next week in the final four. They will join Air Academy and Pueblo West who have already uh, made a reservation at the University of Colorado Event Center for next week's final four. So final score once again, 47 to 30. Pueblo South comes out on top against the Centaurus team who was hot this entire season, upset Broomfield twice in the Northern League, home and away. Uh, first time in five years anyone's beaten Broomfield. The five-time defending champs who fell at the hands of Air Academy. And now Centaurus goes home, so another Southern team will head north to Boulder for the Final Four. That'll do it from the Lockridge Arena. Again, the final score, Pueblo South on top, 47-30 to 30 over Centaurus. And for... Jeremy Weathers and Jacob Reyes. I'm Mary Kay Morrow. You've been watching Chassa.tv for Colorado High School 4A State Girls Basketball.